what are your like some of your favorite memories of yourself that you participated in your career in WWE? I know, tough one, right? Yeah. That's 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 a tough one. Yeah. I think maybe some of your favorite matches or something like that. Favorite, yeah. No, honestly, one of the things that like the first thing that pops to mind, I think, and it was surprising to me. She's just an incredible person, and but my match at Elimination Chamber with her the night before was very short was it was the story was not based around me it was based what Mm -hmm. was ready to happen but the weekend prior we had we had done a lot we had done a couple of house shows right right before that and we had like had this match that we were so proud of and we were so excited and it was it was such an amazing thing to be able to bring her style into what I wanted to do and for us to both tell the story. And, and that's, that's a story that I I love to tell is, is with somebody with a completely different style than I have just because, especially with her, I wanted to make sure we kept just like, if you give me a hold, it's game over, you know? So I walked up to her and I asked her, what are things that are illegal? in a mixed martial arts context. And those are all the things that I want to do to you. Like, what are things that exist here that don't exist there? Right. So it was, it was, it was so, it was so much of our brainchild that we had put together and then elimination chamber came and it, you know, it didn't come to fruition like we had hoped. And then after that, I was bummed, but you know, I understood and, and it was okay. And she actually had uh, rallied for me to, have she says i have a rematch after every pay-per-view i have a title match after every pay-per-view um i would like it to be ruby and she like pitched for it and pushed for it hard you know went to went to all the higher ups and eventually got it to happen and then the following night i for the first time main evented monday night raw and had this match that we had worked so hard on and so hard on perfecting and probably one of my favorite matches that I had had within the company. And it was just, there was so much that led up to that and so much, so much time and and such a story that I was excited to tell that I didn't think I was going to, but because Rhonda was the best, she allowed me to do that. So it was awesome. I was really grateful. And I I just want to follow up with that. So, I mean, a a lot of people, you know, if you're listening to this podcast or whatever, they don't realize, like, so Rhonda Mm -hmm. knew, totally new to professional wrestling. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they have to, when it comes to somebody that she's going to work with to like get over to the next Mm -hmm. step, they have to have something that's really good and that they trust Mm -hmm. to get her elevated to the next step. So did you realize you're like, Hey, I know what this, I know what this is going to be like. Mm -hmm they trust me into portraying this wrestler to the next right. level. Like, I mean, right. did you understand what they were trying to no. do at the time? Yeah. Yeah. I, I was very grateful at the opportunity that they were letting me and especially that it was, it was leading into WrestleMania Yeah, the year that they had main evented WrestleMania. So um, I knew that there was a lot of trust that needed to be put in me in order to just have a match with her, like, let alone like try and have a, you know, a good match, but like have a match with her because she, you know, she was the star at that time, but not to take anything away from Rhonda because she caught on so fast, anything that she didn't know. And she was so humble. And so like, she didn't have anything to prove. And she was just happy to freaking be there. <laughs> and it was so awesome to be able to work with somebody, especially somebody who's just so excited about wrestling as a whole. And it lights this fire under you where you're like, yeah, wrestling is this cool. Like, and <laughs> she was just, but anything that somebody explained to her, she, she got so quick and there's, you know, and you can tell there's a reason that she, you know, she was one of the best in the world at what she did yeah. is because she's just that quick of a learner and absorbs all the information around her. So it was, it was, it was awesome to be able to work with her and to be able to have that experience. 